Hello, this is Robert with Beyond 20. Today we're working in ShareWell version 5, and one request that we often receive is being able to automatically assign a team uh, based on the classification of a ticket in ShareWell. Uh, so if you take a look here, if we're making a new incident, let's go to the new incident screen, and let's assume that we're going under the account management classification, ShareWell self-service, and change password. And we want all of the change password uh, tickets to actually go into a third level support queue rather than, um, you know, based on first level, second level. We know that we want this type of classification to always be assigned to a specific team. So this is a request we get pretty frequently. Um, it, beyond 20, we actually created a mergeable app application for this uh, called the MAP. And uh, this is available in the map exchange. Um, so feel free to download the map there. But I'm going to walk you through how we implemented this feature and kind of what it does and how to update and add more auto-assigned teams. So to get started, we want to launch the orange pill. And we're going to apply a map. So we'll go over here under maps on the categories on the left and then click apply an MAP. Select the incident team assignment. And now the wizard's going to kind of walk us through all the different steps um, for having this installed. Be sure to read the description um, in here. It's going to give you some instructions on what the installation is actually going to do. Uh, one, one note for this specific map, in order for it to, to work, we actually have to overwrite the incidents owned by team as well as the owned by team ID fields. And that's going to be on the incident object. That's actually going to be the only change we're making in, uh, in, in the system during the installation of this uh, M app. So be sure to double check that it's okay to have those fields overwritten in most in instances. That shouldn't be a problem, but you do want to double check before installing the map that this is not going to cause an issue. It is the only way that we'll be able to update the owned by team um, is by having this field override, overwritten. So let's go ahead and click next. We're going to accept the terms and click next again. And here we want to have ShareWell make reasonable decisions, but ask me if I'm unsure. Uh, this gives us a little more insight in terms of what's going on under the hood, so we have a better idea of what the map is actually doing. Let's go ahead and click Next. And the default feature here is being able to auto-assign uh, tickets for the team, um, new tickets that are outside of the portal. So this feature is enabled by default. Um, if you weren't interested in this and you only wanted to auto-assign team uh, for portal-based tickets, uh, through the self-service, then you can disable this feature, and then if you go to the next screen here, you'll see that this one can be enabled. This is an optional feature. Um, if you want to have this done via the portal tickets as well, then you would enable this here. But for this specific demo, we're just going to show the uh, initial feature of it just working through the blue pill. So let's go ahead and click Next. And this is going to give us a preview of what's being merged. You can go ahead and click Next. You have a, an idea here now that the owned by team is actually going to be overwritten. Uh, we want that to happen. Um, there's a new field being added called Incident Auto Classification Field, and we want that to be imported. That's going to be a new field that we're adding into the system. And then we also have a new relationship that's being imported called Incident Links Team Auto Assignment. So there's a incident team auto assignment lookup table that's going to be created here. And we need a relationship from that table back to the incident object. So this is exactly what we want to see here. So go ahead and click on next. You'll see the incident team assignment object is being created. And now here's a preview of all the changes that are going to be done in this mergeable app. Um, so, most notably, you'll see that this, there's a merge action under incident. So, let's just double check what that's doing real quick. We'll see that it's merging some fields. It's overriding the owned by team field. That we for sure want done. Otherwise, it's not going to update the ticket, even if we set a classification 
uh, for a specific uh, ticket. So let's go ahead and click Next to finish the process. And we can open up a blueprint so we can see the changes and apply that and click Finish. Now if we go over to our lookup tables, we'll see the new, the new object that we added in, in the system, Incident Team Assignment. Let's go ahead and publish this blueprint. And it looks like everything published successfully. Now in order to see that change, we need to go to the blue pill. And then up on the top, let's do Help Reload Definitions. We'll go back to the incident uh, screen here, create a, actually before we create a new incident, we want to go take a look at the new table that we added. So let's go to Tools and Table Management. And you'll see a classification is already in the system uh, for account management, share well self-service, and change password. Let's assume instead of share well self-service, we did network access and remove access and permissions and we wanted this to also be third level support we could save this and then let's add a new one we'll also select account management network access let's say we're going to do a password reset we might want this to go to second level support so once that's done go ahead and click on save now if you want to see what all of the specific classifications that were set up you can click on the Show Results button up here on the top. And now you can see all the different options that have been set by the system. So we can see that there's a third level support for removing access and permissions. Second level support is going to be taking care of this specific password reset classification. So now let's actually see how this is going to work. Uh, rather than making changes in the current blue pill, I'm going to go ahead and just open up a new window here. So under File, New. Let's maximize that and then create a new incident. So you notice the team here still says select team. That's because we haven't filled anything in yet. So let's go and select one of our classifications. Uh, we did account management, network access, password reset. You'll see that this is going to the second level support team. Now if this classification was going to be around the remove access and permissions, we want this to be on the third level support. And as you see, that updates automatically on the fly. If we go back to our other window where we had the blue pill with the table management showing all the different um, items in the incident team assignment table, we're able to see that this is working exactly how we want it to. So that's it for today. Um, definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Beyond 20 LLC. We have a lot of other videos on some of the other maps that we've created. Um, once again, this was Robert with Beyond 20. Thank you.